All right, I'm going up. Because I, I do feel like I see. Him. What's that? Should be able to collect clean water from moving water. Yeah. There's a few things that we should be able to do. Uh, a lot of survival games, I do feel like, like I, I, I get that it's work to put in like all the options and stuff and you can't account for literally everything, but there is definitely, it feels like a few kind of more obvious things that they probably should have included. And and this, this isn't a problem only with green hell. This is, um, a problem I experience in a lot of survival games where it's just like it looks like you should be able to do something like realistically you should be able to do something and then you can't actually do it do the extra gamers like take place in the same save or do you gotta start a new game it's a new game next Different map too. Is it worth playing, right. Craig? It's Are we gonna? Cool. Right. Does it have all the same survival elements to it? Yeah. It's like the same gameplay. It's just like a different kind of campaign. Yeah. Instead of story focused, it's like more sandbox focused. Is there an end to it? Uh. Or is it just more of a survive as long as you can, but also do all these, like, we have things for you to do? Is this... What the hell happened here? It's kind of like their quests. Yeah, but what it I'm asking is, end. is there an I'm end to the quest? All the way through it. All right. Have we found our little friend yet? No. I'm looking. It's getting darker, and they do... They are, like, a very bright green, so... I would think it'd be easier to see them when it's darker, oddly. Unlike the picture of them. Yeah, they don't look quite the same as the picture. I'm already going through this cave. <laughs> I'm just gonna go, like, all the way to the village at this point. I mean, I'll come back, you know. You'll probably get attacked. Eh, yeah, it's fine. I mean, I have plenty of energy, so I'm not worried about that. I keep seeing bright green things, and I keep thinking, oh, is that a frog? No, it's just a leaf. It's just a leaf. It's almost as if though this is some sort of green hell. <laughs> what are you talking about? This is more of a... No, it's, 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 it's a green hell. You're right. Who found an allocation? Me. I'm, I'm going to the, to the village, I told you. Because I'm why? Because I'm reasonably sure that there's a bunch of frogs in the village. I I remember seeing them. Do you think you can grab one and get back? I mean, if you find one, you should probably make medicine there. I think odds are I'm not gonna find one. I'm gonna go to the village, and if I get here without finding one. I'm just going to come right back. Do you want to know something interesting about tigers? Yes. Always. You would you would think being orange in a mostly green environment would be bad for them, but 
actually their typical prey are colorblind, so that to them, tigers appear green. Cool. It is a bit odd, but I didn't expect their prey to be colorblind either. So that's also one of those things. You know, a lot of um, a lot of things in like Africa and other places are striped. A lot of the like deer and like you know prey animals, and uh, the reason is because it actually helps them blend into the like tall grass. So even if we as humans can very easily see them because of those stripes, their predators have a more difficult time seeing them because of the stripes. So why do we have camouflage for humans that does the same thing? What do you mean? Well, it's the, the stripes break up the outline. Yeah. It is. It is harder to determine what you're looking at if it, if the form is broken up like that. <gasps> I mean, there's also those um, those big battleships that have like the really crazy like stripes on them. That actually just make it so that you it, they are actually difficult to see uh, at a distance on 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 the ocean. Like up close, like you can uh, like it looks so crazy, and like yeah, you would never miss it. But you know, when you're talking about distances of of you know nautical miles, they just they get a lot harder to see at that distance. you know tiger's ears have white spots on them they're great they are meant to uh, they're meant to make it so that they can't be am properly ambushed because the observation is that it's hard to tell if the tiger is looking away from you or not. And thus the same principle for some people who live in tiger territories is that they wear masks on the back of their heads so the tiger doesn't know if it's looking you're looking at them or not because they are ambush predators. Yeah, you ever see that one video where a guy is uh GNG or first. Uh GNG, I don't know why the first continues to that's not it. Not show up. Um I wish I I wish I knew. I really do. Uh I'll try to fix it. I thought I fixed it already. Like I it was working. Again, it was working last time I looked, and that was like last week. But GNG, hi welcome, you're first. Uh, GNG, we're looking for a tree frog. Poisonous. Poisonous dart frog. Sometimes you feed on one. And do Mia? the one thing that if Mia, I feel like you? the world's common knowledge Mia, tells something. you not to do. Well, I got all the way to the friggin' village, and he started yelling out for Mia again, and I have yet to see a tree frog. <laughs> You've been gone for ages. Though. You me? Yeah. I mean, I just, I literally just went to the village. That's that's all I did. I've been going slow. I've been slowly going to the village because I've been looking around to try to find the stupid tree frogs. I see lizards, but they ain't tree frogs. G and G says masks on the back of the head are also is also an effective magpie strategy. Anti magpie. Correct. You are correct, sir. Alright, well I'm gonna make there my way back and continue of looking. Bluey about that. I've never seen Bluey. 
Never seen Bluey. I've never seen Peppa Pig. I, I I've like seen clips. I've never seen like the actual show. I never watched the show. The episodes of Bluey are not very long. Makes I don't me actually. I've never seen there. No, I I really meant for Peppa Pig. I've never seen a single clip of Bluey. I never I never have seen anything from Bluey at all. The episodes are very short as it is. Have you guys been looking also? Yes. Ar <laughs> Armadillos. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The stupid sounds they make. I'm not bothering to kill it. I don't give a shit. We don't need it anymore. I knew that GNG. Uh, GNG says that the tree fog's poison is due to its diet, and if you feed it something else, it doesn't get poisonous. I feel like that would take a while to adjust that. Well, I think it's less about adjusting and more about, you know, maybe breeding them in captivity and just not feeding the offspring poisonous stuff or the stuff that makes poison. I keep hearing like an angry monkey. Because <laughs> there's an angry monkey out there. I am a little surprised we actually have not encountered any monkeys at all, though. Yeah, I'm. We we definitely hear them. Like the, those sounds. Some of those sounds are definitely monkey sounds. I mean, GNG, I wouldn't want to lick a frog either, whether it was poisonous or not. I'm not, you know, I don't need to chase that high. I'm high on life. I'm high on life and video games. I cannot believe, with all of us spread out, looking all over the place, we have yet to find one of these stupid goddamn frogs. Uh, where am I going? 28.32... I just want to keep on going, uh, east. East, this is this way. Alright. There's like a path that diverges here, so I'm... was momentarily... confused. GNG, that's pretty high. You might want to... How, how's the weather up there, GNG? Do you, you get that all the time, GNG?
Well, I'm back down from the big grapple climb. I'm on the I'm on the shores again. Yeah, how how is the weather down there in Australia, GNG? I know that it's like opposite of us, right? Because you're on the southern hemisphere. Is it cold? What, what's what's the temperature down there? <laughs> Cannot believe it's taking us this long to find a stupid goddamn frog. I'm I'm tempted to like save the game and then like reload just to see if it will refresh the um animals here. Would it? I I don't know, it might. It is possible. I'm pretty sure a gang of magpies just ransacked a nest outside. So annoying. Me. Why are Good. magpies just the worst? Good. Yeah, I don't <laughs> like the sound of birds. GNG says. Birds are alive. It's just great. <laughs> no. GNG says it's 15.8. Celsius, but it was 25 yesterday. Kyle, what is that? What can you convert that for us, Kyle, into Fahrenheit? 15.8 Celsius. Yeah. 25. And but both. I mean, you know. Uh. Well, it's not very hot for Australia. It doesn't seem like it's like 70. 15.8 like is 70. Here. GNG, what the hell are you talking about? It ain't cold. If it's 70 degrees, that's like t-shirt weather. Did he say 25 or 50? 15. 50 no, oh, okay, 15. 15.8 yeah. and 25 are the are the ones that he listed. No, that's pretty mild. To be honest. It's like my um. 25 is pretty hot. That's like my aunt in uh in in Florida when when she lived in Florida, you know she she grew up here. In, in, you know, more northern areas, uh, and then she went to Florida, and of course it's always hot and humid in Florida, and then when, whenever she came back, even if it was like 70 degrees, she had a friggin' like parka on. Just get used to it, I guess. I wish it was 70 here. It's currently 10 p.m., and it is 106. Jesus Christ. All right, I am going to go back to camp. I'm going to save the game. I am going to reload. I suggest we all go back to camp and save the game. Um, because we, you know, we did the, the trip, and I want to save that. I'm going to reload the game, because this is ridiculous. We should we should have found something by now. There's a calendar in uh, the tent with the cards. There's a calendar right here. Uh, Craig, where are you at? Near camp. Alright, I'll wait for you. It's 15 degrees where I am now. But it'll be like 25. Let's see, what does my phone say? Vegeta, where does the scatter say about his power level? It's 70 degrees right now. At uh, 1 right. o'clock in the morning. Alright. I'm going to... I guess I can save and quit. I guess I could have just saved and quit. That's fine. Save and quit. I'm going to restart the game. I'm actually going to completely exit the game. I know that it did crash before, but I'm just going to exit the game. I'm going to restart the game. I don't think this necessarily matters, but... I'm going to do it. Like I, like it takes a long time. Uh, 
Jesus Christ. Alright, multiplayer, host game, friends only. Uh, continue. Loading. What I want to know is kind of, um, what was the deal with the guy on the radio? Why was he acting so weird? Well, Jake is very it's weird. It's because we're acting so weird. Ah, okay, that makes sense. I'm in, by the way. So he was just reacting to whatever madness Jake has got going on. All right, that makes sense. We actually don't know how many times Jake has gone through this cycle. It's uh, I, one thing I remember. For a while is um, the guy was like, do you have that man, is that man with you? What, is, what does he mean by that? It was Alvarez, wasn't it? It was fucking Alvarez. That's that's who died. That's who was with Jake. Alright, that makes well, sense. Well, it seems like leaks, there were but... several men with Jake. At it, the this last time he was here, camp. yes. The last time he uh, was yes. here. The, I, the see primal frog, I see a frog. I see a frog. I see a frog. I see a frog. Come here. Ugh. Got it. Congratulations, now put it where you need to. How do you to. feel? Bad. Pretty bad right now. I'm, I'm pretty bad. Do I do I go ahead and eat this now? Or, am I, or no, do I wait? Alright. Eat it. Wait, I thought he doesn't eat it. He needs his <sighs> venom to be treated. So he well, needs um, I have a thing on he here. Oh, I have... Frog. Yeah, that's what it made it sound like. You told him... It made it sound like you were telling him to eat the frog. It's like, no, don't do that. All right, I'm using this. I did have a a wound on myself apparently. I still have a uh, a death thing going on my. Well, because you, you're buff holding the frog. Bar. I mean, it's in my inventory. All right, now put it in. It the is thing. going down. It is very slowly going down. Okay, what what are we what am I doing with it? You're putting it in the sample oh, thing. Oh yeah, in the, the sample thing. That's right. Tent. That's right. That's right. Okay, the death thing is going down. All right. Yay! This can't be true. Holy shit! That's failing to me. New dialogue unlocked. Yeah, glitch. I have the cure. Yeah, I found it. Answer, please. I have a cure. Even though this guy still doesn't realize that Mia isn't actually here on the radio. God damn it, speak to me. Mia is in the hospital, not being able to uh, speak right now. All right, so now we just have to finish the game again. I assume. I don't think there's anything else we need to do. Yeah, we have to do the sequence again. But I need right. to sleep because I'm about to pass out. All right, let's yeah, let's take a minute to deal with our needs. I'm actually okay. I I might sleep anyway just to get my health or energy back up. But <sighs> the ramblings of a madman in the rainforest. All right, let's just friggin' go. I mean, assuming everybody is, you know, okay, let's just go. Would you still be sane after what's happened? Oh yeah, I should save the game, actually. I don't think right. he was very sane when he got here. Let me save the game. Yeah, I mean, like, case. even what happened before he came back. Okay. <gasps> 
Yeah, we do do science, take a nap. Go have another trip with the ayahuasca. Again, again, doing the thing that you were told not to do. This guy has the worst judgment. I'm grabbing a vine before we even go. I have a vine now. I don't have a vine. I don't have space in my goddamn backpack, really? Oh, it's because I have so many fucking feathers. Get rid of these goddamn feathers. I don't need any of this crap. I don't need this tea. Move this down, actually. This. You know what? Get rid of this middle arrow. I don't need this middle arrow. Hey, that's I, my metal arrow. Yeah, you know. I know. I accidentally took it. You took one of mine, though. To be fair, you also oh, took one of mine. That's one of your shitty stick arrows. Yeah. Oh, I didn't actually grab that. <laughs> I I made room to grab a vine, and I didn't actually grab the vine. Hold on, let me grab the vine. All right, there we go. If you see a psychotria on the way, grab it. I have not mentally logged what that even looks like. Uh, red small berries. fern with red berries. Small little plant. Where'd you guys go? We're going to the grapple hook area. We're, we're gonna finish the game again. Do you know where that is, Kyle? Do you want us to wait for you? No, I forgot. What's the coordinates? Or what direction? From the camp of your own? Uh, north right. along the coast. We're at 2731. There's like a little inlet along the coast where there's like a rope on the on the ground and there's a uh, thing to use up. Be careful, there is a crocodile around here somewhere. You should be okay if you just rush by. I think I lured it away by accident. I think there's a shortcut to the village up here. Oh shit! Where where are you? I gotta go. I gotta go, Kyle. The the the, the crocodile is coming toward me. <laughs> oh, that's not very helpful because I have no range weapons. All right, hold on. I have. You can just avoid it and climb up. No, I can't. Um. All right. Well, we have you to can't go avoid it. Kill it. No. Because it's like where you guys are. Oh, I'll come back down. I'll help. Oh, I killed it. Never mind. Oh, okay. Well then, yeah, just aim, aim for the head. Don't bother harvesting it. We don't need it. Let's As just I was saying, there's a shortcut to the village where you don't have to go past Jake's tent. I've already been past Jake's tent, so we have that, like, logged at least. There'd be a cave on the west side here. West side? Invisible tree. For the what? Invisible tree. Yeah, it is an invisible tree. Honestly, it might just. Goes let's just let's just go. We don't need a shortcut. It's fine. At least we know this way. The village. Oh, hey, this is that path I, I was mentioning. Oh, yeah, let's go this way. Yeah, this is the way I came back, actually, so this this works. I was I was mentioning that there was, like, a walk, walkway here. Yeah, when I, when I went to the village a little bit ago looking for frogs, this is actually the way that I came back. So it definitely works. There's a tree right here. Kyle? Wait, oh, wait, for, wait for Kyle. 
Over here. There's a treat. Wouldn't it just suck if, you know, like, a wild cat came and attacked us <laughs> out, of, out of the blue? I'm surprised there's not, like, a scripted event where we have to fight off a couple of uh, jaguars. Jaguars. No, this game prides itself on its realism. So here's a giant enemy crab. <laughs> Miyazaki, get out of here. Who said that, actually, in that? It was years ago. It's such an old meme. What? Giant enemy crab. Uh, no idea. It was a I PlayStation was thing. I remember God. that. What's that? I'm like stuck or something. Oh my god. I'm already at the village. Well, I had to go I back for time. Kyle. And Kyle is stuck as well. No, I got stuck inside a tree or something. Maybe it like yeah. loaded in no. on you. Damn you! G and G, look it up. L look up. Look up. Who said that? Who said it, and for what game? Was it like Ninja Gaiden or something? Ninja related. I I want to say it was like a it was like a, a it wasn't like a Dynasty Warriors game specifically, but it, it was like in that vein. Are you coming back, Kyle? Yeah, it's just loading really slow. Yeah, it happens. A couple times I had to restart my computer because the, the game just kind of like took over. Oh. What? Hi. Are you in now? Can you move? Yeah, that was All just right. really weird. <laughs> I spawned in another part of the game and then... Sony's infamous E3 2006 presentation, the, present the presenters for Genji Days of the Blade claimed that giant enemy crabs appeared in famous battles that actually took place in ancient Japan. Who was it though? Who? But what was who, specifically the person? I want the name. I want names. I want pictures of Spider-Man. I want pictures of Spider-Man. That has to be exaggerated. There's no way they actually claimed that there were giant enemy crabs. In I think. Mouth. No, I think it was like part of the same presentation. I because I remember this. I'm I'm old enough to remember it. They claim that the game is based on real ancient Japanese battles and then they immediately say so here's this giant enemy crab yeah it was like a ridiculous like non sequitur thing uh got it uh I can make a fire You still have that bag of gold on you. Yeah. I didn't get a uh, chief for it when we finished last time. Bill Rich is the name. Well, you also G &G. crashed, too. Amazing. I need the psychotria. It's on the ground right in front of you. Where? Kyle picked it up. <laughs> Kyle, I need it. I need it. Specifically me. In the thing. No. You, you need to give it, it to me. I need to. It's in front of the fire. Oh my oh, god, I can't believe you can't see it. Alright, let's go. <laughs> yes, I want to continue. Release me from my green hell. Remember to pick the correct dialogue option. Just in case. Yeah, there is. There is an option. Which re which one results in him dying? <laughs> None of them, I don't them think. Mia, yeah, where are you? People will actually see you the credits this time. Stay here with me. Yeah, that's if probably through the cycle again. of this green hell again. Alive. Is that what you want? For a second, I thought it was going to no, make us do again. like a whole new game plus thing where we would have to like do it again, but this time, get the right stuff. I guess we would have had to if we couldn't find the uh, tell me what happened. information.
Just to, just to see the right note. You cured me. You gave me back hope. I could taste and smell again. So, even if we save Mia, throwing up. it doesn't help, Those like, any of the people the in Brazil. Because they're all dead already, it feels like. And no, this is all about died. Mia. We're by my side. I mean, this will help, the like, in the future, time. like, going forward. If but... Mia is still alive, then there must be plenty of other people who are concerned. Sure, like... but, like, I, I maybe they were just hallucinations. But yeah, it seemed like there was a lot of death. Of Millions of people have already died. I lived, but felt dead. And also, I can't go in addition to that, that um, the Tri people are still all dead too. So on my throat, there's no saving them, unfortunately. I can't swallow or breathe. Seconds stretch into hours, and and, and I'm just. I'm not sure if they're waiting. all dead, but. I'm just waiting to die. No, they're not all oh, dead. The Waraha are Yabawaka survivors. Yeah, that's that's. That was my assumption. They got aggro because of Every all the people coming in and yeah. and taking all stuff. Whatever Yabawaka survivors was were still around. Probably were some. Even you. Around. Yeah. Never trust the colonizers. You left me here. I'm at the shower. You left me alone. There were actual were our camps that we just you never wanted found to save me again. But what will the destroy. price be this time, mm. Jake? What will you sacrifice this time? All right, I'm here in the village. Resident Evil. What the? Eight. What happened here? Everything we do makes the tribe suffer. And yeah, if this cure definitively cures the cures. Oh my god. Illness, Is that because of the book? It would be really good for the world. It's easy yeah, not it's to true. remember. They, then they can continue Isn't using the. Do you even remember how you got here? I guess that might help make up for it's some like of it. Or whatever. Why boat? I mean, it wouldn't but make then, up for it, but it's... We put up a but then we would have the problem of, um... Are you sure? <laughs> in the future, we'd have the problem of overpopulation, where I, I nobody is, is dying, and so we just get more and more. And then, and then we have to send people up into here? space colonies, and I, then uh, yeah. we rule the space colony... Earth rules no, the space colonies remember. with an iron fist, and treats it's them like shit, and so the space colonies revolt. <laughs> no, I think we're gonna have colony. a Log I think we're gonna have a Logan's Run thing where once you reach a certain age, you have to die. <laughs> we gotta get those gems installed in the in the palms. I think Elon Musk is working on that. <laughs> he already has the technology. He just needs society to change for it. Weeks passed. I think the biggest problem you were certain you would find the cure. of resources. Yeah. Everyone. Not that there's a lack hope. of resources. Time went by. You were all alone. How long can you survive on your own? No, and then How here's the <laughs> here it is. Here's the dart frog thing. On your right there. Like but it's like it's too late. Maybe it's too late to show it to us here. To just push it all away. Forget. Start again. Jake, I need you here, Jake. Please. I, I need you to do this for me. Please, please, I can't. I can't stand it. Yeah, who, whoever is in charge of this section of the hospital is really slipping. You're supposed to push the gurneys up against the wall. <laughs> yeah, I know. Keep the walkway clear. It's right in the way. 
Same with this, like, there's like a stool over here. There's someone left a, a, the, the medicine uh, holder thing. I think they're probably a little overwhelmed in that hospital. Maybe. Depends on if we're in Brazil or not. Because as far as I, as far as we know, most of the sick people are in Brazil and like the areas around Brazil. It hasn't like gone past that as far as we know. You? Are you? What happened? You didn't um, listen. There are a lot of you? rich people around the world that are affected because they oh, yeah. were able to pay for the cure. I told it's you only already. Giving it away for I me. begged you to end it, but you didn't listen. You never do. Was it worth it? Did you get what you wanted? You're right, GNG. The vending machine was out of order. All right. Uh, yes, I have the cure. Yes, I have the cure, and now I know where to find you. Bullets. Then go. It's the only way. What are you waiting for? Nuke it from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. Oh, the thing is, how it just spat me out. I guess I don't need you guys. See ya. Bye. And then I get mauled by a tiger. Oh no. Oh, I have to get back to the airstrip. Oh, fuck me. I don't know where it is. <laughs> I can find it. I can find it. It's fine. There's no, like, shortcut, right, though, is there? Like, I have to go all the way back, right? I assume. I don't... Actually, there might be a shortcut. Is there, is there a shortcut, Craig, up to the airstrip? Uh, it looks like there could be, but I don't know. It's pretty far, but I mean, you know, I can do it. Just, I'll just go the long way. It's fine. I got stung by something. <laughs> this is the victory lap. Fine. I have I have plenty of uh, energy. They they refilled all my energy. We got ants. You're also like f healing to full, or at least I seem to be. Yeah, I am. Oh, you don't need to go all the way. Oh, okay. I mean, I mean keep going in the yeah, game. Um, all right. This is like a test. Do you remember where the airstrip is? Okay, you're on the right way. Okay, that's enough. It's weird that they give you just enough time to get stung Coward. by something. <laughs> Come in. This is Jake Higgins. I got it. I got what everybody's been looking for. Did I... Did I hear you correctly? Say again. Over. Yes. Yes, you heard me right. I have the cure. Uh, uh, a cure? Oh my god. Are you certain? I'll send somebody right away. You know how hard it is to get the mission? Why didn't you send someone before? Are you implying that you didn't actually Just send someone before? Hurry. He says, oh, I'll send someone right away. It's like, did you, were you not sending someone before? He explained it immediately. <sighs> to believe that I mean also who knows how many times Jake has because called of him you. and then you know late. you could always <laughs> come back to me I really hope that this won't be necessary oh, he's talking to her again except he's not actually here hey Mia hey ghost Mia thank you goodbye mi amor and the plane crashes <laughs> I don't know. The way that then, pilot was then, flying, that, that <laughs> seems very likely. The plane crashes and then the lost singer plays. Uh. Hey, credits. Greedy. Complete story mode on any difficulty with gold sack and the backpack. I also got another one that I didn't read, but probably just completion. I'm getting actual credits now. Okay. 
So, what did we learn? Are, are, are we all done? Did we all finish? There were yeah. the credits. Right. So, what did we learn? We learned... Okay, so Mia had cancer. Uh, and she and Jake were already kind of, like, in this kind of area scientifically. So, they decided to go look for... Um, go to you know the Amazon and look for and look for this stuff, and uh, they find they yeah. eventually find the cure the for the cancer. The first time they came, Jake wrote that book about the Yabawaka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that got Omolu interested, so Omolu hired Jake and Mia to go back and research all the fauna. But Mia already had cancer at that point. Um. Because that, because the other other scientists were getting sick of him asking about Mia's cancer, uh, and so yeah. they do find the cure for cancer, and it's great, and everybody loves it, and they and they ship it back, and they don't do proper testing on it, because usually proper testing is five years, but they just immediately like release it anyway, and and then it turns out that it makes people sick. <laughs> it's uh, it ends up making people sick. Mostly in Brazil, because that's where they gave it away for free at the start. Although, as, as you say, other people certainly got sick. Um, and a bunch of people died, and there was no cure. During the creation of this game, no, ca no capybara was harmed. Now I'm imagining a capybara, but it's, like, huge and buff. Like, you know, a capybara. What do you mean? I killed several capybara. Uh, and then... Uh, Everybody got sick, a bunch of people died. Mia didn't die only probably because she had, you know, the best health care from Omolu. Uh, but she was basically put in a, whatever that was, an iron lung or, or, or equivalent to keep her alive. And uh, she didn't want Jake to go because she wanted him to be there when she died and not be alone. But Jake was like, no, I'm going to go find it. And so Jake goes, um, possibly with someone who died at some point. Maybe he went with uh, at least three other people, and they all died, if if not left. Yeah. Um, and I'm not sure uh, about that. I think he went with one person specifically. Yeah, I think I he think might the have. The guy we found in the cave. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was, it was that was Alvarez, as, as I recall. Um. And that was the guy that the radio guy mentioned. He he asked, "Is that other guy with you?" Uh, no, he's, it turns out he's dead. He had a grapple gun, though. Um, and so Jake has been here for, like, a while, kind of just going in this, like, weird cycle of not remembering what's going on. It could and, have been as little as, uh, like, two cycles. Yeah. It could be as many as you think could plausibly happen. Yeah. Um, it seems like the radio guy at the airstrip had heard of him not that many times before, but he had called him before. Yeah. And so we were basically playing the last of the cycle. Uh, as for why they left, why did they leave originally? Um, they said they were evacuated. Did they say why they were evacuated? It was because of the drug dealers? Or it was because uh, Amolu basically gave up on the project, and they only figured out the Guabana basically as they were being pulled out. Um, of course, uh, after they found the cure, uh, there was also the whole thing where like a bunch of other companies and even governments, like I think China was mentioned. Um, we're coming to the Amazon to also either harvest that specific cure or to also look for new stuff. And, uh, and they, you know, destroyed a bunch of stuff and they killed all the, you know, all the, all the tribesmen ended up getting killed because of that. And, uh, yeah, the first time a lot of people came just because of Jake's book mm. and then it was made exponentially worse after the cure was discovered there. So it's nice that we are able to find a cure for the cure so that we can use the cure to cure cancer and other diseases now without people dying. So I guess I we have that like going cures. for us. <laughs> Yo, dog. 
Uh, but that doesn't help the tribes people. The tribes people are... The, the tribe basically as it was is, is extinct. It, not necessarily everyone died. I'm sure some of them got, got pulled into the other tribe, but like that particular tribe as it was, they're, they're gone. They're, 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 you know, it doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. Um, which, you know, sucks for them, but I guess, I guess civilization is saved. Uh, <laughs> at, at, at the cost of, of their, all, all their lives. Um, so that's, and so that was the story. And so now we, we finally figured out what the hell the cure was. And uh, and that's the end. And then Jake said goodbye to to Ghost Mia, to hallucin hallucination Mia. And uh, but she's still alive, I guess. It's possible that she died. Like it's possible that she's already dead. Like by the time we get there, because it has been a while. But I think we're. I, I I assume we're supposed to think that um that she's maybe still alive, and that we can save her. But I I also think that it's not necessarily written out specifically that way because i think it's it's like left vague like maybe she did maybe she died while we were here while we were out here going crazy and looking for the cure so like we couldn't help her but yeah. we could at least help everybody else after she begged him not to leave her yeah i think that i think that's kind of what that is sort of hinting at is that she is he's still he's feeling guilty because it's it's very likely that she died uh before we could return Uh, well, I enjoyed it. Um, definitely, there were some <laughs> issues playing it on on hard mode, but you know, we we got through eventually, and um, and we finished it, and we even got the good ending after we <laughs> had to look up stuff because yeah, I think I think some kind of, especially for the things that were just on those pieces of paper, like why didn't we just take those pieces of paper and put them in our notebook? Or whatever, you know. Feels like we we the game the, the finding out this the true ending would have been better if we had those notes in our notebook from the start with not having to like look it up or or restart the game just to just to figure it out. Um but it was it was fine. Um We're probably gonna end the stream early because whether or not we play the second mode, which we'll we'll discuss after the stream. But whether or not we play that, I don't necessarily want to just play it for like 20 minutes and then like have to stop. Um, so uh, next week we could be playing Green Hell some more or we could be playing a new game. Uh, the boys and I will discuss it after the stream. But until then, thank you all for watching. Is there anything else? Actually, did you want to talk about anything else related to the game? You guys? Uh, you went over the story pretty well. I didn't know if you if you had any opinions. I mean, what, Craig obviously likes the game. Uh, what do you think about it, uh, Kyle? It's okay. It's not bad. Yeah. I feel like spend too much time eating and sleeping. <laughs> I think it's because of the hard mode, though. I think it would have been yeah. we, we would have spent less time doing that if we hadn't been playing on hard mode. If there was more of an emphasis on making like quality food rather mm. than. Your bars go down really quickly. I would have preferred Yeah. That. I, I noticed, especially was it last week or the week before, when we were, like, wandering around for, like, a really long time in that one area, um, we were doing fine, just, like, foraging and, like, not bothering to cook anything. We were just eating what we found, and we were fine. Um, which kind of surprised me a little bit. So, yeah, I, I agree with you. There's not... I mean, cooking, I guess, is helpful, but not that helpful. Uh, lost and joke. Growing just seemed kind of pointless as well. Yeah, but I mean, the forest has that problem too, doesn't it? Like, yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can build and do, but if all you want to do is a story, you don't have to do like any of it. Uh, lost joke. I hesitate to ask. <laughs> what is your opinion? My, I think we know what my opinions are on this game. All right. Uh, well then, I guess we will go unless Craig has anything else to add that he would like to add. No. All right. Um. Thanks for watching, everybody. Next week, we'll again. It's either this or another game. Um. So we'll, <laughs> even I don't know right now. We'll find out next week. Goodbye. Good night. Bye.